now we can create our roof panel and go, go to grid one elevation then i will go to roof by extrusion reference level offset i will take level three okay then i will click on this and select this one i will take offset 225 as it is the purling depth 225 okay 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 now fix this okay done i'll go to 3d plan and then i can I will go to elevation. This is the roof. And drag up to this, and here and drag up to the end. Okay. So this is our roof. We can create this roof like our. Uh, roof sheeting that one i am showing now i'll go to new family i'll go to english metric metric profile million open here i will create Create line here to here, then here to here, this to this, and this, then fix here and click on EQ so that equal spacing. Now I will make it distance this one click on this or this here I will type 120 okay so that this side also 120 now I will draw the shape for our roof sheet this one here to here click on this then edit the radius 80 okay again create click on this from here to here 80 okay now we will create line this offset Three milli. This one, this one, this, and this. So six milli sheet thickness. I am providing here to here and here to here. This one we will delete. We have created the shape. Now this one delete, delete this shape i want to save file save as family roof sheet save okay now load into project done 
go to 3d and go to boolean save the project as it is asking edit type duplicate roof sheet okay and here this one i have saved so i'll click on this okay now we will create this roof this one roof as slope gazing class then we will change our type grid one this one and to fix distance as i have created 120 millimeter spacing and two side so 240 okay so you have to careful you have to be careful to create this spacing i have created the sheet as 120 and other side 120 so 240 millimeter this one same and your type roof sheet okay apply done so this is our uh, roof sheeting we have created in revit using the family now we can see the sheet is down from the purlin side purlin height so i will go to left side and check and i'll make this one level offset to see how much it is needed to be created offset level of set 100 still there is inside I will create 125 okay this is this is perfect now this is roof level of set so that's why it is not uh, these two side is not offsetting so now we can do another thing we can edit this lines create 125 offset this side and this side and this side this side also and then we will make it zero from level offset enter this enter this enter and this enter now fix this edges okay this time click on this continue ah oh, there, there is a line here to delete this one done now this roof offset we will make it zero okay now we can see in 3d this is our gable framed shed gable framed steel structure in Revit 2019 and here we have model purlin and roof sheet roof sheet and wall sheet now we can change the color for this sheeting I'll go to boolean this is roof sheet edit type I will go to material go here create new material here rename sheeting okay this is the sheeting from here we will choose color blue steel it 
italic wall paint air air maybe here is available blue steel okay we can choose this one apply okay apply okay thanks for watching stay tuned with my channel for more important videos and if you need anything more you can make comment under the tutorials and you should like my tutorials if you uh, get benefit from it so thanks press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update